Hey guys, well, we have a special treat for you. Mickey um, is um, very well versed in this process. You guys, I think it's called Lichtenberg. Fractal burn. Yeah, Lichtenberg, fractal burning. Mickey's been doing this for a long time. I've never done it. I've never even seen it done live. I've just seen videos like most of you, but Mickey's gonna give us a demo on that. So, um, go ahead. Take it All on. right, so it is called Lichtenberg Fractal Burning, but I call it fracking because it's a lot quicker to say that. Um, so the, the setup, in my setup, is a microwave oven transformer. You can buy one from Walmart or wherever, take it out. You put 120 volts in and you'll usually get about 1,000 volts out. Uh, if you touch this 1,000 volts at 500 milliamp, you're dead. There's no, oh, I lost my bandsaw finger, uh, or, you know, I got hit by lightning and I lost an arm. You're dead, and that's the end of it. So I don't recommend anyone making one of these setups with a microwave oven transformer. You can make them out of a neon sign, like you see Bud Light bars. They put out 15,000 volts, but they do it at about 50 milliamps. You can touch it and live, but um, you'll remember that you touched it. <laughs> and I do have both setups. I just prefer the microwave. I just, it's my own thing. I think it burns better. So my setup is a variac. And what a variac does is it varies the input voltage. So if you plug the microwave transformer in straight to the wall, you get immediately thousand volts out. These probes may jump, fall off the table, someone dies. Uh, so with the Variac, you start with zero volts. You very slowly turn the input voltage up. So instead of 110, you're going 10 volts, AC, 20, 30, 40. I'm usually at about 60 volts. And this thing will start, make sure it's off. This thing will start um, burning, doing your fractal burning. Um, the, there's a solution board, uh, wood is not electronically conductive. There's no circuit between it. So you mix up, uh, what I have in here is just plain old Arm & Hammer baking soda. It's a tablespoon of baking soda into a cup of water. Uh, you mix this up till the water's clear, all the baking soda's dissolved. That's just water out of the tap. It's not water like it's distilled or anything, it's just... Tap water. Just plain okay. old water. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and so you put the paint the solution on the board. If you're just looking for a uh, random uh, random burn, uh, this I wasn't really looking for a random burn. I was specifically trying to get it to burn in these areas. But down here, I would paint a lot. Around here, I'd actually just use my finger and put the solution on with my finger because it won't burn anywhere but where there is solution. So all your routing was done when yeah. you did your fractal yes, burning. Yes, that's gotcha. right. Okay, right. gotcha. And so here I painted half the, I, painted, I put the solution on half the board. Here, it looked like a heart, but now the, the water's kind of seeped into this very porous piece of crap pine. But we'll at least be able to see that it's only gonna go around in this circle. Here, we're just gonna let it randomly burn wherever uh, wherever the electricity wants to go. I can sometimes control it with the Variac, turning power off and back on, and it might go in a different direction. Mm -hmm. um, but even as you saw, I, I'm touching the probe, you know, in safe areas, even though I know I have two safety areas. The Variac's on zero, my switch is off, yeah. but I don't want to die. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what I want to tell everybody. Yeah. Don't do this is really what my answer is. And if you do, use a, a neon. So, all right, so I'm going to turn the power on the Variac. There's still no voltage here because this variable Clear down to input zero. is at zero. Yeah. Now I'm going to slowly turn it up. And right now, I'm not even at 30, 30 volts. No, I'm almost at 50, so I'm about 40, 50 volts which means this is only putting out half, so that's probably 500 volts AC. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. I could watch things yeah. burn all day long. That is pretty stinking cool. 
and you can kind of see the flame. I don't like to point, yeah. but you can kind of see the flame and that'll create a deeper burn yeah. rather than some of these cool little minor ones you like to see. So I'm kind of turning the power up and down. Just so trying as to get they it touch to each other, then it kind of flames Then it's up. a direct short. Yeah. And uh, it, it'll sit there and we'll see it. It's going to hit a hot flame. And sometimes I leave that on a little bit because I'm trying to get a deeper a deep, burn. A deeper groove there. And yeah. some of the time I will paint the inside of these things. In fact, the Kleenex box you'll get, I'll have hand painted that. Yeah. Um, a lot of people who are better working with resin than I am will seal seal this area up and uh, and then put their colored resin in and fill all yeah. these up. Right, right. Uh, and uh, maybe with Total Boats, that new solution, mm -hmm. yeah. I have not tried that. I tried we'll this back in the early days and I went, heck, I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So now power's off everywhere. I can turn... The, move the probes and now we'll just try and do a directional quick directional so can you see that this is dry in the middle mm -hmm. okay so we're gonna try and just get it to follow this circle and not burn in the middle and we should everybody's clear right everybody's um, clear. see if we can get that to happen different kinds of wood burn differently see that's a weird burn all right, power's off in both places. I'll move the probe here. Is there still solution on there to dry up? Yeah, it looks. Uh, so it's windy in here, so I need to add solution. You can see my hands in my pocket. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want it jerking around, touching anything. So we'll just put a little quickie on here. Um, I, it's really too flooded. I, I like to put the, the probe where it had already burned mm. to keep, keep, keep a circle rather than have any breaks in it. Okay. And there we go again. Sometimes one probe takes off burning. Look, it started in the middle. Did you, I don't know if she caught that. It's yeah. Wherever it's, the electricity, oh, it's burning it's down burning here. It's burning from that wet. handle over there. All in this solution area, there is electricity that'll kill you. You may not be able to see it, but yeah. it's there. And you noticed it was burning way back here. Yeah. We didn't expect it to. Yeah. I never put the probe here. But was the edge of the handle there? This is all rubbered. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's a good question. But no, it just, the electricity side, that's the way it wanted to go. And that's why you don't want to sit here like, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm dead. So. <laughs> yeah. And I stick my hand into my pocket again. It's just a habit to make sure. I've actually pointed uh, at the frack a lot more. Um, than you normally do. Yeah, because, you know, first I'm doing it by myself. And you don't want any dogs. You don't want any people. Yeah. When you're doing this, nobody's around you. Yeah. Because here comes the dog, hits you, he jumps up, anything. The probe could, the dog hit the probe because yeah. the wire was down and you're dead, your dog's dead. Hmm. And so I could have continued, but to make it shorter, yeah. Yeah. I could have continued going around in a circle. So hmm. the last step here is normally you'll um, take a wire brush, same wire brush you use when you're cleaning your bits, that soft uh, metal, well, this isn't metal, soft brush, you clean out all the burn marks, yeah. hose it out. Then you'll use um, oxalic acid or wood bleach, put it on here, and everywhere everywhere this solution is gone, this wood's been stained. Yeah, it's green here. With this, when this dries, you'll see this is green. Looking to see, I sanded that off, but uh, so the wood bleach turns the wood, whatever kind of wood, back to its natural color and makes these fracks show up better. So now, now, do you need to take? Sorry. Did you take? Do you take this off before you put the wood bleach on, or you put the wood bleach on last? Last. Put the wood bleach bleach on last. Then I'll take my orbital sander and very carefully sand out and try and make these little minor burns yeah. more visible. Gotcha. And gotcha. Uh, then you seal it up and you're done. Fascinating. 
All right. Cool. All right. Wow, that was 10 minutes. Yep, it was 10 minutes. So are we going to come wow. back and cool. after you do the bleach thing? Or? I, yeah. I think we should. Yeah. Okay, all right. We'll be, we'll back. be right back. Hey, guys. All right, we're back. And uh, Mickey's got this thing all finished up. It came out really cool. You guys are probably wondering what this B is all about. This is a scrap board that we were doing a little transfer process, doing a Mod Podge little transfer. It's backwards, but we were just, Mickey was showing me how he does it or how he has done it. Okay. But anyway, uh, so Mickey, what did you do Mickey. to get this to the position where it was from that last scene? So the last scene that we saw, all you could see was just charred dark areas. I took a brush and brushed out all how the cool um, ash from the burns. I uh, ran some water under it. Then I mixed up oxalic acid, wood bleach, same uh, one tablespoon to a cup of water. Uh, the um, other solution, the baking soda solution, will actually stain the board. There's some stain still here and here, but the wood bleach, had I not rushed through it, it'll turn your wood back to the original color. Mm. Uh, and I've used it uh, like when I've spilled paint and I've tried to, you know, use yeah. the wood bleach to get it out. And it, eh. But uh, and after, this is pine. I don't, I don't know. This is just that, pine. No, just I didn't. Just a piece of pine. Just plain yeah. old junky pine. Um, so then uh, the wood bleach got rid of all of the black burn areas, yeah. but it was still very charred. These lines were very wide. You could barely see these things. In fact, here's an area that I did not sand very well, so yeah. you can't really tell any of the minor fractal burnings in there. But after a little bit of sanding, see I skipped the spot, yeah. but after a little bit of sanding, you can clearly, clearly make out all these little cool yeah. minor burns that are in there. That's right. And you just barely have to touch, touch it with your sander. Yeah. Uh, and you otherwise, you'll erase it. A random orbital. What is this? That's 120. 120. Yeah, yeah but yeah. 120 is uh, I, 3 320. That yeah. way, you, you, if you press too hard, you wipe it out. Yeah. Because right. they're not very. These are deep, and you can paint these or you can fill these with colored resin. These little minor ones, you don't. Those are just thousands. Yeah. Deep. Right. Yeah. And uh, so you can very easily wipe them off with your sander which yeah. you know you don't want to do because it touch. gets rid of all the cool yeah but i would have spent a little more time cleaning these areas up some people like that yeah. that yeah. they like they like that effect and so it's all in the eyes of the beholder and um something cool. a little board like this would had i fracked the whole thing it probably and sealed it probably go for about 60 bucks crazy all day long People who live across the street from me in Sugarland uh, saw smoke coming out of my garage, and her husband goes, "I just paid sixty bucks for that." Really? And I said, you "Should have come over here. I'd have made you one for free." <laughs> so anyway, this That's is cool. Lichtenberg fractal burning, extremely dangerous. If you're gonna attempt to build one, use a neon transformer, never a microwave, never have anyone around. Follow every safety thing you can. Insulate everything that you can on your probes. I mean, this is soldered on. This is taped. I have rubber handles. And then I have these on there. And even it up by 15,000 volt um, flexible cable. This is actually what they put in the unsigned. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, even with it all off, it scares the heck out of me. Yeah. That's what I want to tell people. This is cool but you will die making it. So I don't encourage everyone you to make it. You only get one, one shot at the mistakes. Yeah, you're yeah. dead. Yeah. Literally. That's it. Yeah. And then your first responders can be dead if this probe is laying on top of you. Yeah. First responder will die. I told Amy, if I'm on the ground, I'm dead. Yeah. Go to the breaker box. Here's the main breaker. Turn it off. Then call the morgue. Yeah. Because you don't need anyone else here. So All right, guys. It. Well, that's it. Mickey, thank you, my friend. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for everything. Thanks for coming that's, out here. Sorry so we didn't really, catch more fish. Yeah. You caught um, fish. Got a couple little baby cats last night on worms. Yeah. That's okay. nothing today. Yeah. But we had a great time. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. hope you like this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, send emails to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise, uh, you know, I'll tell you something that will kill you. That's you don't want that. Anyway. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.